everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine and I post vegan fashion, lifestyle, and beauty videos. Today is a sequel of my vegan handbag comparison review, which I posted last week. And thank you for leaving wonderful and positive feedback. And as a result, I thought of doing another round. And this time we are going to be tackling two different brands. One is a Chinese brand, JW Pay, of which I own four handbags including this bag that I'm going to show you in a while and another one which I'm pretty sure you may have an idea already because I own a ton of Angela Roy handbags. Um, I have a playlist of all these vegan handbags. If you are interested to check out each one of these bags then feel free to click any of those videos. So just a quick backgrounder, JWP is a Chinese brand and the town where these handbags are manufactured are actually known for making vegan handbags. Surprisingly, the shipping of JWP is a lot faster than US-based Angela Roy. Now we go to Angela Roy, which is a vegan luxury designer handbag. Price point is anywhere between 150 to close to 300 depending on the style and the size, of course. So we are going to streamline our parameters just to make this comparison video straightforward yet packed with information. We're going to talk about material, style, the size, and overall functionality. So for today's video, we are going to be focusing on these two small crossbody bags. This is the Zuri multifunction bag from Angela Roy. I have already featured this many times on this channel. I'll be posting the links up or down so that you can check them out and see if this is really the handbag of your choice. And this one, which is a double, double moon crossbody. I think that's how you call it. I'm going to be, uh, I will double check. Yeah. But this one was part of my spring haul, which I posted almost two months ago. Anyways, so let's start with the material. All of JWP handbags are made of a combination of microfiber, polyurethane, and recycled bottles. So this is a double moon cross body. The color is purple. And as you can see, it is made of fine, very smooth, fake leather. Okay? Now the Angela Roy Zuri Multifunction Pouch is made of polyurethane. And as you can see from the texture, the material, it looks like pebbled leather. Now let's go to the size. It's pretty obvious now that JWP is a lot bigger than the Zuri Multifunction Bag. So when it comes to style, I favor this double moon crossbody bag more just because as you can see, this is stylish. You have the bangle type handle here, which actually uh, reminds me of Celine. Don't you think so? So you can hold this bangle handle like this, or as a cross body bag, it has a strap that is adjustable and detachable. Yeah, if you wanna just use this as a clutch instead. So it's called double moon just because it has two flap openings, one in the front and at the back, this is how it looks. My only grab about this handbag is that button. Uh, they should have made this magnetic so that I wouldn't struggle to close it. I know quite trivial. I paid uh, Right now this bag retails for like $75 if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check that. Yes, it's $75 But if you use codes that they advertise on Facebook, you can save actually 15% So that's what I did with this handbag. Okay So that's that again Oh, suddenly my throat is dry. So now we go to this Angela Roy multifunction pouch. Yes, that's the name. So it is available in four colors. There is black, burgundy, tan, and then this is called Cloud. I bought this right around Christmas time last year. This crossbody uh, comes with three detachable non-adjustable straps. I use this gold chain more just because I find it the sassiest of them all. And this is the other strap, the longer one, and this one is the shorter. So when it comes to style, this one is really very basic, yeah? One zipper and that's all you got inside. 
but nonetheless I still love this in fact one of my top three favorites from Angela Roy so finally we go to the overall functionality all of these handbags are obviously tiny yeah so you really have to downsize you really have to plan which items you'll be bringing with you if you decide which of these handbags you're gonna purchase or you're gonna use as a side note, if you are going to purchase Angela Roy, don't forget to create an account, especially if you're purchasing directly from her website, just because you are going to earn points for every dollar spent, which you can use for your future purchases. Now, before I forget, and this is a minor concern, okay? Um, two of my handbags had very very slight tarnishing which I brought up with their customer service of which I was told it was an isolated case but after those experiences the more recent handbags that I purchased from Angelo they are perfectly in good mint condition now with JW pay I have also experienced slight problem with my recent handbag purchase there was a stain and also a tent which actually affected my overall enthusiasm with this brand so whether i would purchase in the future that is still in a gray area but otherwise the other three handbags that i have purchased including this one i have no complaints quality wise so there you go i hope you enjoyed our comparison review for today don't forget to like this video feel free to share it and let me know if you already purchased anything from this brands that I featured today enable me but in the meantime you take care have a wonderful day and spread love positivity say no to negativity mahalo